Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and this is just going to be a very quick little update video on the Days of Style. We haven't really had any major changes with this event, and I do have a previous video if you want to check out the cosmetics and everything that comes with this event, and I will link that below. But this is pretty cool, and I do want to share it because it's actually just beautiful. So basically, every few days, this event has been changing locations. So we were previously in the Hermit Valley, and then I think we were somewhere in the forest. I haven't really been playing as often as I should, so I can't really say for sure all the locations we've been. But this new one today, so, so pretty. It is at the very tippy top of the Vault of Knowledge. And it's honestly just too pretty to not share. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we have a runway, a rainbow runway, kind of suspended in the air above the Vault of Knowledge. So cool. When you walk, it makes these amazing little sounds. Beautiful. I just thought this was neat. I thought people would want to see it. Um, again, I haven't shared too much on this event, so of course there's going to be event currency. We can find most of it just scattered around like this glowing hat. I do think they changed it recently so the hats are more visible. Because I know the uh, event currency is always somewhat tricky for players to find. Over here we have a closet and it rotates every single hour. So the style guide will bring some new featured clothing every single hour and I can show it what that means. So if we enter the closet, at the very top you can see there's featured clothing. And so in most of the closets, there's five items you can check out. And this one here actually isn't even in the game. Um, it probably won't be there in the live version. But it'll show some featured items at the very top that rotate pretty often. Same with the uh, face accessories. Looks like there isn't any in the neck accessories. We have some pants, but those are all default pants. That's kind of sad. None in the boots. That might change, of course. This is still very early in the testing. We have some featured hairstyles. It looks like I don't own that one from the laid-back pioneer, which is kind of strange. And hair accessories. And something that's really cool about this is that you can actually get ultimate rewards in here. What is this? Oh, uh, from the Days of Sunlight. I think this is a spell at the moment, but I'm not quite sure. And they even have the uh, TGC cape, or like the beta cape, which, again, I don't know if that'll be in the live version. There's some things that were accidentally put in here that I don't think they're intending to bring. Um, but yeah, the coolest thing about this closet is it actually gives players the opportunity to wear ultimate rewards. On occasion, obviously it's a uh, low chance and it's kind of random what's in the featured section. But I've seen people with the Lightseeker's umbrella. Um, this one here, why can't I find it? Because I'm in the wrong section. This umbrella? This was the Season of Light Seekers Ultimate Reward. I've seen people with the uh, deer mask, with the assembly cape. So it is pretty cool. This kind of an opportunity for players to dress maybe a way they've always wanted to, but haven't been able to. And I think that's really awesome. And then of course the style guide will give us a quest. This is it. It's time for the Starlight Fashion Show. Inspire them with a stylish outfit. Okay, I'll do my best. Try on a creative outfit to match today's theme. So this is basically our activity to get additional event currency. You just have to walk the runway, record yourself, and we should be granted with an extra event currency. The theme for the Starlight Fashion Show is... Evening Glamour. Sparkle and shine on the runway. If I'm honest, I don't think I'm going to change my clothes. But I do look the exact opposite of Evening Glamour. I look <laughs> way too modern and simple and ridiculous. But we get to go over here and we can record our runway walk. I'm going to pick this up first. The scattered top hats. And then upon recording it and finishing it, you should get some event currency. So cool. I love this runway. It's like panes of glass, rainbow glass. It's really pretty. I wasn't expecting this. I don't know. Do some runway stuff. Woo, rodeo. Yeah. Um, 
Exploding narcissist. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> That's enough for me. I'm gonna head to sleep pretty soon. We're gonna call this Fashion Show! And then they are so impressed with my amazing outfit. So, you know, if you are doing this in a rush, you don't have to change at all. You can wear the exact opposite of the theme if you want. You don't have to really dress up whatsoever. Especially if you don't have many cosmetics. Don't worry. You don't have to follow the theme. It's just for fun. So now we have an extra event currency here. Hooray! And then another way we can get event currency, another sort of activity, is to watch other people's runway. And you should only have to watch one. Something that I think is really funny is the way that the crowd reacts when they see um, a player walking down the runway if you play one of these. I think it's really cute. They take pictures, they get so excited. Oh, they woke up from their nap and started cheering. And there's always some comfy chairs you can watch. Oh, look, they fixed it. It wasn't giving event currency for a while, but now it does. That's awesome. I'm not really in need of the event currency. I'm more just interested in this area. It's pretty fascinating. It looks very cool, very unique. I didn't think they'd add something special like this, but they did. Yeah, and that's really all I wanted to share. I don't really have too much. There hasn't been any major changes. If you want to check out the cosmetics coming with this event, I will link a video below. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you around. Bye.